it's me, Nim Sony. Welcome back to another video. Today I am playing uh, my Gmod remake. I uh, I added the walking systems. So this is a very very short video again. Another one of my short videos. I've been doing a lot of these recently because I've been working on something which is really irritatingly math intensive. Uh, now it's irritating to most people, but I really like maths. So uh, looking down uh, or looking on the other screen that I've got open here which is my editor screen it's simply following my character you can see the camera uh, facing direction as well um, you can see my leg tracking is based on the new system that I developed for the Halo VR project so this is actually my Gmod uh, VR remake project this is my remod project also you might like my new skins for these things yep uh, having the actual oculus touch controllers in game the actual meshes makes it really easy to position the hands correctly so these look exactly where I expect them to be in the real world which is really useful now I'm looking down again so now we can see the actual foot tracking works brilliantly and we're going to go here remember there's no actual tracking this is just uh, mathematically calculated footsteps every bit of it every motion it's uh, completely calculated mathematically. There's no animations involved at all. What just happened? Why did my computer glitch just then? Anyways, right. So let's uh, walk over here and walk down these steps and you can see how well this works within any form of steps. And it just, it just works. It just works, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna have to look really far down because uh, for some reason the Oculus recording um, is a lot lower field of view than what I see so I can't tell whether you can actually see the legs but yeah here's how they look and you can see how good based on the shadow how natural this uh, this looks as well when you're standing about once you've got proper IK motion on your arms now obviously we don't have elbow tracking so right now here's where my real elbow is on my left hand of my left arm yeah really weird isn't it look I can swing it nothing but oh well that's uh, that's that's the problem with lack of tracking anyway uh, that'll that'll increase over time but uh, for now we've got we've got this and uh, yeah this is actually my Gmod VR project so that means if I push these objects into water we get the actual buoyancy system so you can see how that balances out and you can see a sphere as well do, 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 do. let's push it up oh that didn't work very well and uh, there you go, buoyancy on those things as well. <laughs> yeah, that's that. That's the whole video. That's all I wanted to show. Um, I haven't got my menus open or anything like that. I'm going to t con convert them over to the new sort of um, uh, hand control based VR, which is something I couldn't do before when I was building the project originally. Uh, in this game, for those of you who don't know, I've already remade the whole object spawning system from external files. I've got it loading. I've got a nice sort of world built here, which is a remake of the original game. This is not exported from the game. This is just my own remake. Same thing exactly. Um, I added this pond though for, for physics testing. Uh, we've got the buildings in the background there. Why are they there? That's because I added a grapple hook and it works exactly like an actual physical grappling hook. So when you shoot it, you don't just get spring pulled in like in uh, most games these days. Uh, so you can do that in VR and it attaches from where your hand is. So if you pull it in, you get pulled in. If you pull, attach it to some object and pull it, the object will get pulled in. It's the same system that I use for my hand physics on the other videos, which right now is not active in this project that's the whole video goodbye oh wait let me do that in the, in the shadow goodbye <laughs>